Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't know if I am, but let's go. Okay, I, um, first of all, a lot of people already asked me how, um, how I'm doing it. So I thought, well, why not just <laughs> show you so you can do it yourself um, and do your own personal twist on it. Let's get this bread, guys. Um, so the first question, of course, is what program am I using? What software am I using? It doesn't necessarily have to be the same software that I'm using right now. You can use Canva or a presentation tool like a Keynote or PowerPoint or like Photoshop. Uh, what I'm using is um, Adobe InDesign. That's because I happen to be a designer as well. But you can choose basically any software you want that makes you use images and text and different formats and so on. Let's, let's talk about some basics right now. Which format should I use? Which format am I using? Yeah, basically shows us three different photo sizes. You can either use a square format, but that's not what I'm using. I'm using a portrait uh, format for my posts. So I'm using the f uh, 4x5 format. Or if you <laughs> somehow want to use a landscape uh, format, you use, a, you use this one. Another question I get is where do I get my images from? Where do I get the pictures from? Because they almost, <laughs> almost uh, always look very sharp. My next review will be Chernobyl, the, the show. So the first thing I'm googling is um, the first part will be the movie title, the show title. Then um, always movie stills. So what I'm doing then is um, use advanced searching, then um, look up for different sizes. Always, I'm always searching for large pictures. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you're unlucky. If you have found a great picture but the quality is too poor, you can always reverse image search the same picture on Google for a better quality. Film grab. Um, also has some nice images and uh, the problem with film grab in my opinion is it's there's it's again <clears throat> very hard to find very sharp and crisp 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 images or maybe I'm just um, too dumb <laughs> the other option I'm using is moviestillsdb.com that site is awesome but unfortunately you have to pay for each download um, I think about five cents. It unfortunately costs something, but um, you, you're mostly able to search for images on Google as well. You don't have to use this one. These images are always or almost always extremely sharp. This one is even 7242. So it's immensely huge. So if you can manage to line two sides um, together it's way easier to 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 create continuity oh wow i was wondering how you figure out how to align pics on two slides yeah if you program unfortunately can't do that um, putting two side two slides next to each other you have to calculate it so um, the width is always 1080 pixels so if you want to stretch an, uh, an image over two slides, you have to double the width of the image. So the image has to be 2160 pixels wide. So the image looks seamless when, you, when you're swiping it on Instagram. Yeah, let's, let's talk about fonts. So which fonts should I use? That's always a tough question. Um, in regards to typography, there's very basic stuff you always have to acknowledge the first one is don't use too many fonts just two or maximum three fonts the fonts i'm using are futura futura pt and um, brandon grotesques brandon grotesque the next thing you have to consider is uh, readability 
that's often a problem when um, when you're using a movie still as a background and then a text on top of it it's 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 mostly very hard to to make the text still readable because the uh, the image the background image is so um, noisy like here my my credit tag my watermark or so isn't that great to read what I'm doing is put a dark gradient underneath it so it's a bit darker so you can read it better so let's use a square let's fill the square with black and put the gradient on it but not uh, from left to right but from top to bottom so now you have your gradient and let's just put the gradient underneath it so the gradient is still too too harsh it's too 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 strong so let's make the opacity a bit smaller yeah like this like that I think it's pretty it's way better and you can apply this technique um, everywhere basically just make sure the this the text is readable and make it readable with a darker background yeah here are a few issues the first one is hierarchy so what part needs to be seen first i think the most important part is the show title chernobyl so that's why i used a bold weight for for my typo series review shouldn't be that big because it's not that important i'm using the other weight again medium and we'll make this one smaller so the next problem is readability it's not readable at all so let's maybe change the color i think that's pretty pretty readable let's change it for those two as well let's see if that's working yeah it works it still works another important uh, basic design is to line things together so um, like here everything is left aligned and avoid doing stuff like this because then it's i don't know it's messy it's it's unorganized colors um don't use full colors like red yellow blue and so on wait a minute you know these colors here um red green i'm i'm a fan of soft softer colors and just make it a bit more interesting make it a bit softer make it less boring <laughs> like here it's not it's not black I could I could have used black but black is basic and a bit boring so I made it a bit greenish it also fits the atmosphere of the show perfectly I think yeah that's 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 how I make my reviews it's it's not that complicated right let's just recap everything what software am I using Canva Photoshop, Adobe XD, which is apparently free. Adobe InDesign, it's what I'm using. So three different formats. It's either square, a portrait, or landscape. Landscape format. Yeah, images. Google search, or you can reverse image search on Google and look for uh, the same picture, but with a better quality. The second um, option would be moviestillsdb.com, but you have to pay for it, unfortunately. But they always have great pictures. Or filmgrab.com, which is free and has great images as well. So if you can manage to line two sites together, it's way easier to, to create continuity. If you program, unfortunately, can't do that, you have to calculate it. And typography, the most important stuff about typography is hierarchy. So what's the most important thing on the page you want the user to see? It has to be aligned. It's very important to align your parts on, on your slide because otherwise it looks messy and chaotic. Readability, 
Is my text readable, especially when movie still or image is in the background? Don't use too many fonts, just two or maximum three fonts. Colors? Don't use bases, use nuances. Exactly. Like Andre said. That's it, guys. I think that's it. I hope uh, I could have, I could help you out, help you out, help you out, help you out. Yeah.